It was a game of two halves. Those who died and those who unknowingly caused it. This job is shit. This building is shit. The salary is shit. This tea is shit. The whole thing's shit. You know, it's not that bad. Sure, the pay isn't that good and our lives could be better, but it's all right. It's not just here. You've heard about the virus, right? Virus? What virus? It's like some weird program. I don't know that much about it, but people are getting really stressed out about it. Are you sure that's all you know about the virus? It's nothing to do with my department. My co-workers, my friends and I, none of us really knew what was going on in such dark intensity that we were part of this global catastrophe. By the time we did, though, it was far too late to do anything about it. Uh, sorry I'm late. I was in a, um, a, a plane crash. Well, anyway, um, uh, by now, you've probably all heard about that mousey thingy that's killing people through the computer. I tell you, the man who made that is a genius. Because you see this? This is a thing of the past. What we need is the future. Touchscreen technology. You could say it's a game of two halves. The past and the future. And we... What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Probably one of his head of department things or something. Great. Shh. Like we discussed, none of us in the lower ranks really understood what happened if you clicked the virus. Some sort of electric impulse, a pin positioned at the top. I still never received any clear answers. No one did. My colleagues never really believed me when I said he was off his head. Despite our collective distaste, they showed friendship, kindness, even love. I hold no pride to what I did. Never have I really spoken about it, and if I had, I assure you now, I would not speak of it with my head held high. Perhaps that's why, at the very thick of it, we didn't protest. We didn't stand against him in guts and glory, nor did we join public resistance. And in the end, we pay the price. Everyone who died lies under our feet, and everyone who lived can't know anything about Project Mogul's Avenue.